Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> Hello there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we go any further, I want to wish a happy birthday to the September Libras out there. Yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic birthday. Um, so, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. Now, it's interesting because... I just did the Virgo reading for the month of September, and that had a lot to do with conformity. Um, and as I was trying to, or starting to dive into your energy, channel your energy, the message of conformity still kept coming forward. So um, this could be something that's specific to like a, a, a Virgo Libra cusper. Um, or maybe you could, this, maybe the message for Virgo um, is more of a universal message uh, because at the time that I'm recording this, Virgo, we're, we're, we are in Virgo season, but also Mars was in Virgo. Um, so there could be some sort of reassessment of the actions that you want to be taking, the moves you want to be making. Sorry guys, the video, woo, the video cut out there because my mic got unplugged by accident briefly, but um, I didn't lose much. All I was saying was you might want to watch that Virgo reading and see if that resonates with you. But let's get, let's, let's move on and let's get into your um, pre-shuffle energies. The first card that came out is the world, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so this is, and what I was hearing with this is a closing of a cycle. All right, which is obvious. I mean, a cycle coming to a close, a cycle coming to completion. Okay. The next card was the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, the, for some of you, this could be whatever cycle is closing out for you. Um, either the moving forward from this cycle is going to need to be a day-by-day -day thing. You need to take it step, one step at a time. But also, and now maybe this is both are, you know, maybe this is for some, maybe this is not for, maybe this is for all, whatever. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied here. But what I'm trying to say is, for some of you, 
the, the cycle has closed out because of your step-by-step -step progress, all right? Taking things one step at a time. Now, you do have the tower moment. You have the tower here. You also have judgment, and you have the king, I'm sorry, the emperor with strength underneath the deck. This is a lot of major arcana, which is similar to the Virgo situation. They had a ton of major arcana. Their first, their pre-shuffle was all major arcana, except for, was it all? It was the sun, the moon. I can't remember now. I can't remember, but it was mostly major arcana. It might have been all major, major arcana except for one. And that's what you have here. All right. Um, I do feel like this tower energy is mostly in the past or at least the the catalyst, the onset of this change of this catastrophic whatever um, is somewhat in the past, like it actually happened in the past, but you're, you're, you may still be dealing with the aftermath or the reverberation, right? The dust may be still in the process of settling, yes? And so because of that, you're needing to move forward step, one step at a time. You can't rush this situation, all right? But there is definitely a call with the judgment card here to take your power back or to stand in some sort of authority with the emperor. And then with strength here, you're needing to have inner strength. You're needing to believe in yourself. You're needing to stand your ground. You're needing to, to stand up for what you believe in. It may even be standing up for what you, may, what you have learned up until now that has helped you break free from something in some way. You also could be dealing, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with a Virgo, with the Knight of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, maybe another fixed sign, Taurus, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, with the world here, world is a fixed sign, all right, but this is a major change, uh, a catastrophic beginning is what I heard, which is an interesting way of saying it, a catastrophic beginning, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, all right. So let's get, into, let, let's get into the rest of this and see what we have for you. You have the star that just flipped over, Aquarius energy, more major arcana. Whatever is going on for you right now, Libra, is leading you towards some sort of wish fulfillment. I, don't, I mean, divine timing is going to be when it actually materializes but what i'm feeling with the star energy is that whatever is happening for you whatever's changing in your life right now um is leading you to some sort of wish fulfillment okay all right guys so let's get into the rest of this here i do want to say i didn't say it in the beginning of the of the reading portion of this video but you're most likely going to hear a bunch of noise from outside they are doing construction across the street they tore down a building across the street and now they're still in the process of clearing out the lot, but you might hear, there's the Knight of Pentacles, you might hear uh, some of that going on. So I apologize if it's too distracting, but we're just gonna keep it pushing. Yes? All right, cool. So let's get into this Libra and see what we've got for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, what I'm seeing, I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you. What I'm seeing is a light blue color, which is a color that I tend to as uh, um, associate with air signs. But also, it's speaking of truth, authenticity, and power, your own personal power, number two, which is an energy that the emperor stands for, all right? And the emperor did come out in your pre-shuffle. Three. So for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, 
for the month of September. I just feel like you need to be standing in your own truth, in your own power. If you're already here, good job. Keep going. Four. And five. No wishy-washiness, Libra. I understand that you want to, you know, keep the peace and all that. You want to make sure things are balanced, but things really can't be all that balanced if you're not being authentic. I mean, that is going to be a tough pill for some of you to swallow, but it's the truth. Spending all this time and energy and focus trying to, you know, keep the peace, balance the scales, blah, blah, blah. But where is your authenticity in all of that, Libra? Are you losing yourself for the sake of others? Ask yourself that question. It's rhetorical. Ask yourself that question and see what answer comes up. Yes? Okay. Here we go. For my Libras. Boop. Overall energy here we have <laughs> the five of wands. Well, gee, that's no surprise. It's like everyone else's opinion around you has more weight than your own. And maybe this is something that um, is influencing your day-to-day -day life. Or it's a situation you're finding yourself in in which you're having to play like judge and jury or something like that. It's like there's a lot of chaos surrounding you. A lot of differing of opinion, too many cooks in the kitchen, uh, an ego battle even. This feels external, Libra. This doesn't feel like it's yours. Now, it could be leading to some sort of internal conflict because you don't know exactly how to handle the situation. And maybe your own sense of truth and authenticity is like, this is all bullshit. And yet you're not listening to that. Potentially, for some of you. All right? Underneath the five of wands, you've got the hanged man. The blessing here is that all of whatever the five of wands represents for you, Libra, it's leading you towards some sort of change in perspective that I feel like is really going to be more internal and is going to allow you to change the way you approach external situations, external circumstances, okay? This is also Piscean energy. You might be dealing with a Pisces. Underneath the hanged man, you do have the six of swords, Leaving that shit behind. For some of you, this might have to do with some sort of conformity, because I keep hearing that word in my head. It's carrying over from the Virgo reading, but it has relevance here in some way. Okay? Needing to leave the past behind. Let bygones be bygones. I don't know. Underneath the Six of Swords, you do have ah, the Seven of Pentacles. But this is why you would need to have, um, you would need to embrace the Six of Swords energy in, uh, you know, leaving the past behind, leaving some sort of fight or argument behind, moving forward out of rough waters into calmer waters. It's influenced by this Seven of Pentacles energy, which is like a checkpoint, which is like you're coming to a, a, a point where you're like, you're starting to realize, recognize, or learn the lesson here. And you're, and you're looking forward and saying, okay. So with everything that's gone on up until now, up until this point, where do I want to go from here? That's what this feels like. You're in a position to move on, move forward in some way because, the lessons of, because of the lessons that you've learned up until this point. So maybe you're already, you've already gotten this change in perspective here with the hanged man. Maybe you're starting to see through the arguments, see through the lies, see through the ego battle, the differing of opinion. Opinions are like assholes, people. Everybody's got one. Doesn't make anybody right, doesn't make anybody wrong. And I feel like some of you are leaving behind some sort of strong urge to like fight back or fire back or clap back or whatever. Giving up the need to be right in order to find some sort of peace. 
for some of you specifically. All right. Let's get into the, less, the rest of your reading here. First half, second half. You could look at this as the first half and second half of your month. You could also look at it as first half, second half of the reading. I recommend you look at it as first half, second half of the reading, mainly because time is an illusion and energies are fluid. But whatever resonates, whatever works best for you, by all means, do that. Yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Libra, you have... Excellent. Temperance. It's funny because you are a sign that seeks to keep balance. And yet throughout all of this external turmoil is where you are finding balance, but it is internal balance. I like that, Libra. This is Sagittarian energy. You might have Sagittarius in your chart. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. But there's definitely an alchemization happening, or maybe it has already happened. Maybe you're entering into this month, or you're entering into this reading, because this reading is meant to be timeless, with a deep sense of understanding and balance. Okay, I like that, Libra. Temperance is coupled with... <laughs> there's the tower again. Scorpio energy. But it feels like it took this tower moment, whatever this tower moment is for you, this abrupt about face, we can call it, some sort of jarring information or jarring circumstance, happenstance, situation, whatever. That is what's leading or has catalyzed, leading to or has catalyzed some sort of internal balance, some sort of internal alchemy, all right? Change. Now also, what this is saying is there is a need for patience while the dust settles. Because for some of you, like I said in the beginning of the reading in the pre-shuffle, for some of you, the, the dust is still kind of settling here or is needing to settle. And you're needing to have some patience through this because it's not quite over yet. There may even be some more things that are uprooted or realized. There may be some more things that happen during this process. You could, for some of you, this could be an extended tower moment. Like one thing happens and that kicks up a bunch of shit and then time goes on and then that kicks up more shit eventually and it's just like a big old snowball effect, right? It absolutely could be that. You never know, I just realized I didn't have this here. This is the, in case I, if some of you are wondering <laughs> what this is, because I just put it back. This is a eulogy card from when my grandmother passed. And so I just keep it as a memory. I like it. Anyway, <laughs> moving forward. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Libra. You have all good. The Two of Cups. Now I'm hearing for some of you, soulmates are coming together. Okay. I'm hearing also a catastrophic ending to a situation that has been long standing that may have been kept keeping soulmates or counterparts away from each other. Okay, I like that. If it's not that, then this is a balance within yourself. This is a union, a marriage even, within yourself. This is that balancing act that we're talking about here with temperance, yes? A meeting of the minds even. For some of you, this really could be the masculine and feminine within yourselves finally squashing the quarrel and coming together. Hmm. Well, that's quite lovely. Two of Cups is coupled with... Ah, yes, the Ten of Cups. A union is happening. Soulmates are coming together here. Bonds are forming. Happiness is realized. This is also, if you're not really connecting with an individual externally that could be a soulmate or a romantic partner or whatnot, this is you gaining the balance internally that you need to be your own Ten of Cups. This feels very relieving, especially for those of you that are just are, are, are realizing this within. Like this isn't for some, if, like if you're not connecting with someone externally, this feels so relieving because I do feel like you may have been at odds, at war with yourself for the longest time. 
but now that might be coming to an end. I do feel like it's an external circumstance that you became aware of or that opened your eyes to something that is now helping you find some sort of union or balance within, okay? And to be quite honest, that is quite beautiful, Libra. That is quite beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, the Ace of Swords, woo, the truth. And the truth hurts, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sure as shit does. Being honest with yourself about what's really going on around you, that's what I'm hearing. Accepting the truth for what it is and just moving on with that. In how, however that resonates with you, for whatever that means. Honor, I'm hearing what I'm hearing is a number of things. Honor yourself. Honor your story. Honor your enlightenment. That's what the Ace of Swords is talking about. Because yes, there is a sense or a form of enlightenment happening here between the hanged man and judgment, which came out in the first half, in the, uh, the pre-shuffle, okay? Ace of Swords is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. Keeping the balance in the light of some sort of truth here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. That's dicey. Okay, so for some of you, this is keeping the balance in the light or in the face of some sort of truth, or it's some sort of truth that helps you recognize where there has been some sort of juggling. The truth that finally allows you to stop juggling, maybe. Now, the challenge also could be strictly just some sort of truth that upsets, upsets some sort of balance. And yet, and to that I say, if you have a situation in which now it is being blown wide open, wide open and there is some sort of truth here that is kind of knocking things out of balance, then maybe it wasn't all that balanced to begin with. Huh. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have the devil. Capricorn energy. Yeah, conformity. When I was doing that Virgo reading and I kept hearing conformity, we were talking about the devil. Interesting. Fear, toxicity, confinement, being chained to something. Is this unchaining yourself, Libra? I sure hope so. I just heard, yes, it is. Okay. The devil is coupled with. Ha <laughs> ha! It is unchaining yourself. Judgment. It absolutely is unchaining yourself, Libra. Bam! Good for you. Good for fucking you. That's what I'm trying to talk about. That's what I'm talking about, Libra. Waking up. Seeing the truth, Ace of Swords. Seeing the devil for who they truly are or what it truly is. All right. And I just heard leaving the past behind you. Obviously, you do have the Six of Swords here, okay? Second half of your reading. First set of, ooh, I slipped. First set of surrounding energies you have. Nine of Wands. All right, perseverance is key. Just keep swimming, don't give up. Wounded warrior, being on the defensive, sure, but I just wanna, I, I, what I heard and what I wanna say is just keep standing your ground. Whether this is the first, uh, whether this is the second half of your month or this is just the second half of the reading for you, we're going a little bit deeper here, it doesn't matter. At some point, you're probably going to feel some sort of energy of just exhaustion, maybe even Thinking about giving up, throwing in the towel. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Libra. Stand your ground. B conformity is not becoming. New. 
Nine of Wands is coupled with, what did I say? There's that strength card again. And it's so funny. This really is connected to the Virgo reading. All right, so you might want to watch that. Because what I was saying in the Virgo reading when the Nine of Wands came out was I was seeing strength. Well, at first I was seeing Leo. I was feeling Leo energy. Spirit was, was, was leading me to the message of the strength card, even though, that, even though the strength card did not come out in that reading. Spirit was leading me to that message through making me feel Leo energy. Strength represents Leo. But also, Leo is the type of individual or is the type of energy that stands strong. Leo is a fixed energy, all right? It's not going to let anything shake it off its foundation. And even if they are successful of shaking you off your foundation as a Leo, it is not going to be easy in any way, shape, or form. Libra, don't you dare give up or compromise your own strength, your own stability, or your own truth. Absolutely not. You have come way too far to allow that to happen now. All right? Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have the wheel of fortune. Change. Destiny. Destined change, potentially. Now, this feels like destined change because you, with the Knight of Pentacles that came out in the pre-shuffle, you have put in the work. And so now the wheel is turning in your favor, even though it may not necessarily look like it right now. Again, you just have to let the dust settle. The Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the Fool. Yes, hunty. Moving in a brand new direction, the start, a, a, a new lease on life is what I just heard. A brand new start. Finishing out, closing out the old cycle. Getting ready to start the new. The world did come out in the pre-shuffle. From the world, you once you finish the energies of the world or the lessons of the world, you cycle right back to none other than the fool. Boop -de boop boop. <laughs> your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have six of pentacles. Yes. So here is where the balance comes in. Is there a balance between what you give out and what you receive? Your challenge is to upkeep this balance. Keep up this balance. I'm hearing keep doing things the right way. That is your challenge. But what is right or wrong? Okay, we'll say, Spirit is saying, all right, fine, guys, we'll say it this way. Keep doing things the right way in order for you to keep harvesting or manifesting this good karma or the wheel turning in your favor. That's what we mean by right way. Yes, we understand, we know full well that there is no such thing as right or wrong. But if you want a certain outcome, like say in this case, if you want good karma, there are things that you could do that you would need to do in the right way in order to generate that good karma. Okay, that's what they, that's what we mean. That's what we're saying. That's what they're saying. That's what we mean by right way. Okay. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Cups, Scorpio energy, maybe uh, another water sign, Cancer or Pisces. But this is none other than emotional maturity and emotional responsibility. Compassion empathy, yes, having all of those things, but also understanding where and when the right time to use these elements is. So what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling with this is, yes, having the ability, the emotional ability to connect with someone, to vibe with someone, to, to, to empathize with someone, right? But knowing when the right time to give is. Like, sure, you can feel through someone's emotions. You could feel for someone. You could understand where they are. But if you know that they're just going to use you, then you know not to give in to that situation. That's what I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups, okay? Okay. 
Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Libra. You have... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, the King of Swords. There, This is you. This also could be Aquarius, but I do feel like this is you. And this is what we were talking about here with this King of Cups energy. Diplomacy. Look, like, I feel for you, but... Sorry, I can't do shit for you. It's not my place. It's not my responsibility. Doesn't mean I don't want to. Doesn't mean I don't want to help. Doesn't mean I'm trying to be an asshole here. But look, you got to handle your shit on your own. I can't pick up the pieces for you all the time. I spent too much damn time and energy trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the balance. And what did I get? Not a damn thing. Or at least not what I'm due. <laughs> not anymore. And sure, my tone may sound harsh right now, but I still love you, I promise. But this is your situation, not mine. I refuse to continue picking up your pieces. You've got to do it yourself. Ooh, all right, Libra. King of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Cups. See, still having that King of Swords energy, still putting out, you know, the truth, the honesty, but still having some compassion to extend. I will help you if you help me in return. This is not going to be a one-sided situation anymore. Or in some cases, I'm hearing ever again. No. It's not like I don't love you. It's not like I don't, it's not like I don't feel for you. It's not like you are not someone that is, you know, important to me or something like that. But let's keep it real. Like... I got to care for my own self, too. I got to keep my own self in mind here. And that's what I'm going to do, says the Libran. All right, y'all. Better go on and get it. <laughs> okay, Libra. It really feels like somebody has learned their lesson here, Seven of Pentacles, and is doing better for it, has an opportunity to create a better future for it. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is really talking about. Yes, you may have learned the lesson, you've gotten the message, but now it's about taking that message or taking that les lesson and allowing it to help you build a better future moving forward, a better harvest moving forward, okay? That's good, Libra. That's very, very good, all right. So let's get into your closing message, your oracle guidance here. Form of Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go, Libra. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading. Oracle Guidance. There it is. Mm -hmm. Card number six. Shock of the New. All right, here we go. What wild, unconventional voice is calling to you? Can you hear it? It is so different and so unusual. It might be hard to decipher, like hearing an unfamiliar language for the first time. It might be hard to discern with great clarity now, but there is an affinity between you and this strangely beautiful newness seeking to manifest. This oracle says there is a stirring at the deepest level within you. Something new will break through and the process of this birth may be a shock to you. The shock will transform into great joy and a sense of tremendous liberation, but you must bear the strangeness first. That strangeness might be something that rattles your beliefs about yourself and your world, daring you to become more of yourself, more open to where life is leading you and more willing to be the unique sacred art being crafted by the hand of the universal creator. Nature never shies away from strange beauty. She allows for endless diversity and her sacred works are often peculiar and stunning. You live within her field of creative grace as a specially creative work that also creates. 
you are being asked to surrender any fear you may have of being seen as exotic, unusual, eccentric, or bizarre. You are being asked to make peace with strange beauty and to let it happen through you in creative flow. Perhaps you need to allow your uncon or I'm sorry, perhaps you need to allow your conventional ideas of beauty to become more even more inspired and open. Perhaps you can allow your need for the world to behave according to your fixed ideas to fall away. You will receive so much more in this place. This oracle comes with a special message for you. There are rumblings and stirrings of the creative life force happening now, deep in the undercurrents of your being. If you are very attuned or sensitive, you may have consciously felt this already, with excitement, discomfort, or both. If you have not yet sensed these inner stirrings, they are, all, they are happening all the time. So be on the lookout for the big shift of new birth, the shock of the new, the unconventional, the strangely beautiful, and the disturbing liberation of that which is foreign stepping into your life. This is life creating the stage upon which you will experience greater fulfillment. Don't be nervous if the, rumbling, if the rumble of change turns into a mighty roar that rocks boats, bursts forth as novel ideas, and changes things in a way that is out of your control. This is life happening. Free fall into it. The oracle of the shock of the new comes to you saying, the old way is on its way out. You are being invited, dragged, nurtured, and coerced into the new. You can handle it. This oracle brings you guidance. You are about, you are about to encounter something new and different in your life. This is helpful. Don't reject it, no matter how small or insignificant or how powerful and life-changing it may seem to be. You are being asked to dispense with your reliance on the past and what, you have been, and what have been your tools to navigate life. You have outgrown your old methods. You will have to fly by the seat of your pants, so to speak, as you experiment with new ways to be. Life will show you the way. So there it is, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the next reading for the month of October. Y'all, take care. Bye.